Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Master Presage mission, which is, you most of you all know, is the exotic mission where you get the Dead Man's Tail. This is a flawless, so I'm going to be giving you as much hints and tips and kind of commentary on the run as I can. But first, let's start with what I'm using. Top Tree Void Walker. Uh, I'm using the Heritage, which is the Raid Shotgun, but any shotgun that can, any primary shotgun with Autoload and Hulk will do. Uh... Ikelos SMG for producing war mine cells and the Lament Orb, which is going to be very important. As you can see, I've got Passive Guard and I'm running Global Reach on my Bond. Uh, this is kind of going to be a hybrid. The only one I'm going to be, the only war mine cell mod I'm going to have is Global Reach. The rest is going to be all about be getting charged with light. So you can see I've got Font of Wisdom. I've also got the one that gives you stuff on your grenade. I'm using Lucent Blade. Now, to get the second perk to work on Lucent Blade, you need to attach another Arc mod into your armor. So I went with Momentum Transfer. Elemental Charge. Basically, when I create an elemental font and I pick it up, I'll get a times two charge with light, which is going to be really important. But the main thing of this build is the Lament. So I've done, I've done this maybe a couple of times now, just trying to make sure that the, the run works. Done it on different characters. My hunter run will be up uh, about 45 minutes, an hour after this one. I'll do the Titan tomorrow. The Lament's going to be really important because on the Warlock, we are going to be kind of exposed when we're doing damage. So the Lament will allow us uh, to get health back and it kind of bypasses shields. Well, not kind of. It does bypass shields because, as most of you will be aware, the Master Presage has a uh, match game as a modifier. So, by now, most people are going to know the, where we're going to be going, the, lo the running location, the jumping puzzle, and the puzzles. So, I'm not really going to be calling out where what I'm doing when I'm doing that. You guys can follow where I'm going, and most of you probably have already done this. I'm just going to be speaking about how to get past the combat se uh, sections, save time, that type of thing. So, I apologize it's took me so long to get this run out. I've been kind of not well this week. It's been kind of weird. Uh, and when I when I was well, I had so much to do to try and catch up. So I started this last night, and I've done a couple of runs last night, but I was, I was like super tired, probably drained from all the, the stuff that's been going on this week. So I come on this morning, three runs, two flawless. It's not difficult, it's about how to attack these combat sections. So, once you make it through uh, out of this jumping puzzle, it's not really a jumping puzzle, this kind of maze, it's kind of going around the back ends of the ship just to get into where you need to go to. We need to save as much time as possible. I will be playing hella aggressive because you've got 25 minutes, you need to beat it. So as you can see, I've put my sword on because I've got passive guard and I'm just ignoring those. Uh, once you've, you see there, they were pushed up. If they push, as you can see, I jumped up on there once I activated the first switch. I jumped up on that kind of barrier just so that if any of them came along and exploded, I wasn't on the ground. You do not want to be on the ground with those screebs. I'm going to be ignoring as many of them as possible. So when we get here, I'm just going to move on past these because I will not be coming back to this area. So there is no point. Make sure you got your sword out. Passive guard will help you tank some explosions if you are within the blast radius. Get here, shoot this little fuse, and you're done. Now with this section... You actually are going to be running about here. So you'll see what I'll do is I'll kind of wait here. Try and get as many... Like, I want them to explode and I want them to take other screeps with them. So I just give a second. You see, bush past them. I want to be close enough that they can sense my presence and explode themselves. Over here, we're going to activate this lever and then back. As you can see, I am playing as fast as possible. I found the Warlock done the first part faster than the, the Hunter, but the Hunter definitely made it easier at the boss, although the Warlock wasn't really hard, but I I did have a couple of moments with the Warlock, simply because we're trying to get this done within a certain amount of time. Now, this is the first kind of thing you're going to come up against, which is the Trash Compactor, or the, the Star Wars Easter Egg. If you don't feel confident that you're going to be able to get it done in one go, there is kind of a way you can do this and not die. You'll it'll t you'll put another 45 seconds to a minute on your time, but you can do it, which is activate this. As you can see, I'm, I'm jumping up trying to find them. I'm going to put a grenade down the center, just explode them. You, I can see a couple there. 
I'm just going to land and jump. I've got my sword out. Sword just allows me to tank more explosions. And I'm going back to try and get these fuses. Now, if you're not confident that you can you can get the fuses in one go for, for whatever reason, uh, you can just come in here, kill all the screebs, and then go to the opposite end of where you activate it and just stand in the center. You will not get crushed by the compactor. And then you can restart it again with no screebs and Bob's your uncle. This is the first real kind of combat section. So what I do is I get up to where the snipers are. I go to the left hand sniper. You see I throw a grenade to the right hand sniper. Come out and I turn and Nova. That is like a lucky let's see what we can take out. You see I take a lot of ads out but I am taking hit. So I'm just going to charge my grenade throw over there. The sword is going to do a lot of work here. We need to take out these these uh, captains. So anytime I take a, go for a captain, you see there, it it, ta it doesn't take the shield down, but it takes them out through their shield. Now, my first kind of tip on here is you don't want to be running about with a sword killing everything. More so because I'm going to run out of sword ammo. Now, you see there, I produced a war main cell, which kind of helped clear that whole section out but as you can see with the amount of enemies that 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 i actually had to kill with weapons the nova done a lot of work so i, I grenaded the right hand sniper at the back right next to where the boss stands went for the left hand sniper with my sword killed him the other the the void snipers really really hurt him because they're elite they do a little bit more damage and then i turned so so Taking out the sniper on the left with a sword, right hand one with a grenade. And then I turned, threw a Nova to my left. There was a heap of enemies there. Took out the captains and a heap of adds and it just left me one captain and a couple of those... Uh, those I don't even know what they're called. Scav Ravagers? Is that what they're called? Uh, so, when we get into the main room, the first ad I'm going to be looking for is the top hand void captain. Because the snipers are there. So you have to clear him out. So this kind of works. It's really easy to, to work this section out, right? I'm just going to put some damage on this abomination. And then I'm out of here. And this is where I will go all the time. Is up onto the center section. So when you come in here, you to take the Void Captain out and the snipers. And then you're going to take the Arc out. And then you're going to take the Sword. But once you take the Arc, the, the Void one up top, and then the Arc one out. Then what you're going to get is you're going to get the two abominations. And as you see, I've got another wave of ads. I'm going to get those. Once you take out this wave of ads, which I came up top here, because there's nothing up here now. Came up top. All the other ads will follow you. If you've got a grenade, you can charge a grenade and just deal with most of them with a the grenade. You'll get four screebs, which will spawn up top as well. Now it's just me and the two abominations for now. So as you can see, I've damaged one. I just char I keep charging my grenade because I've got that second arc mod uh, put in. Uh, I, my, I, my heavy attack charges faster. So as you can see, as soon as I took out the, the abomination, I came straight back up here. Now I've got a safe zone. This is my safe zone. So it's the, ex the waves work exactly the same. Came up here. All the ads followed me because they're stupid. <laughs> They're not stupid all the time. And then you get the screeps. Everything comes up here together. And now all you've got now is these two captains. And you've already damaged. You've already damaged the second the second uh, abomination you see there. When you, when you come when you take out the captains, as soon as you come in here, when you take out the, the, the void captain up top and then the arc captain. Leaves you this solar captain, and then the and then the abominations come. The next wave won't come until you kill an abomination. So you can do damage to both of them. So what I done was I done a heap of damage to one, and then I done a heap of damage to the other one. Meaning that once I kill, once I was in a position where I could go back down, the second abomination didn't have a lot of health left. So just make sure you clear the snipers and the guys up top. So that you've got a free section to go to. And you can jump back up there. And you can lead all the ads up there. And it just, it just makes them easier to, to control. 
Now, there is a part in this that I think is the most... <laughs> it's probably going to sound stupid. When we get to it, I'll, I'll point it out. We'll see if you can guess which part I'm talking about. For the Warlock, it's probably the most dangerous part. Uh, we're, we're going to have a, a whole army of Screebs. There's about eight of them. It's not really an army. Just toss my grenade and then get ready to just finish the rest off that dropped down. I'll put, get my shotgun out. Now, as I say, I'm using the Raid Shotgun, the Heritage. It's a very good shotgun, but you could go with a Blasphemer. I've just, I just went with the one that I had that had auto-loading holster so that I can just do my work with it and then put it away and it'll reload. But then again, you don't have to have that. Activate these two switches and we're going to drop down and we're going to get this uh, Egregore. Is that what it's called? Egregore? So you shoot this and then you get Egregore Link. And then we're going to go up here. Now, there's a couple of parts here that a little bit more difficult on the Warlock than it was on the Hunter. And I think this is one of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to get rid of the Screebs first. Just throw a grenade over there onto those ads. But as you can see, never, it did do a, a fair bit of damage. Uh, but then they shielded themselves. So make sure there are no Screebs. You can see I'm not pushing too quickly. Now, I'm just going to take down that. And then I'm going to... Throw my super to the left, and hopefully I, the, the ad I want it to take is the captain. And it didn't, but it didn't leave him with a lot. So we'll just finish him, and then get into cover. Don't attack. Don't attack if you're low health. You see there, even though I was getting my health back, I still didn't generate the full bit of health. So be careful when you do this, because obviously, obviously when you activate that, you've got a turret down here where the, the, the fuse is. So, uh, just be careful with that. And then we're going to go and get what Pog, get this Egregore Link again. Now, I always use a shotgun because it's just a one hit, bang, I'm off. It's just time. Everything is about time. We have to play aggressive here. When we get down here, normally what I would do is I could clear out the screeps and stuff, but we don't have time for that. So, I'm just going to break those, those, uh, break those panels. And then run through. I've got my shotgun out. Just get past this door. And then I'll shotgun the Screeb as I say. And there we go. All of it is about just skimming time off. From now till the boss, you really should be fine. Jump over here. You're just going to shoot this pod and go straight through the, the goo wall. And then out the door. This is... Your last kind of big wave of ads. We're just going to throw a grenade down there. See if we can get some explosions going. And as you can see, we've got a wall mine cell. Far too late because everything was nearly dead. Or dead. Now it's just the two ogres. I'm going to use the sword to maneuver into cover. I use this pillar to stop their, me from taking any damage from the, 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 the melees. Be careful about pushing. The sword will help you, and it'll, it does more than just give you health back. It's a big, heavy hitting weapon, and it helps you maneuver. It helps you move into position fast. But just be careful. Just because you've got that health regeneration on charge tits, so you hold left trigger, and then you go after them, and you get that. When you're getting yellow numbers, and it's kind of like a metal on metal sound, that's when you're getting your health back. That's the revved attack. That's what we. we that is why we want charge with light because obviously we do more damage with with our, our mod or a sword mod. So this section here is the section that I was most worried about because void snipers and and I have nothing for them on a warlock. You know, so what we, as you can see there, we jumped around, we took the first one with the sword, and I've charged a grenade and I've thrown it on the second one. Now what I'm going to do because I don't want to have to deal with him later on, we're just going to jump around here. And just take him out right now. And that that's it. Now we're going to go down. We're going to shoot this uh, shoot this fuse. Behind where the fuse is. I think that's where the ghost is. On that on one of these platforms here. The ghost that you'll have to look for later on. And there's no doubt we're going to have to look for it. Because they keep mentioning it in the story. That looking for the dead ghost. The, the, the guardian's dead ghost. It's in this section here on one of these. I think it's to the right there on that. The, the second twirly platform, I think it's to the right of that. We would come left to come up here, but you go round to the right. And then that's us. 
just that's us at the boss now the boss is kind of funny it's not difficult but you are going to have moments so i'm going to try and give you as many hints as i can to minimize the moments or the or the 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 fear of the moment so as soon as we come in here what we're going to do is go straight to the boss we're going to charge and you'll see one two three four five and then a big hit and then i'm out and i'm going to come here i'm going to take this guy out straight away and then that's the bulk that now we've got big cover i'm going straight for the second straight for the second uh knight uh captain take him out so, the, what you're going to be looking for here, you're basically going to have three waves to deal with in between each of the damage sections with the boss. See here, I, I, I know my sword will just go down there and melt them, but I'm trying to get some heavy, and I find I get heavy more just to fall on the floor, just to land. I'm just going to go and take this captain now. Uh, I find heavy drops more often when I'm not using my sword. So, once you've took out the three captains in this first wave, and a couple of little boys that are around them. You're going to get another kind of... It's not even a wave. You're just going to get five of these little kind of scorn. You're going to get four out here to each panel. And you're going to get one inside here. So, I would suggest... You'll see me actually do it in the second wave. I actually go in and activate the one inside first. This one in here. It's not a good idea because if you leave this one to last, once you've activated the panel... It stops the burn effect, as you can see, because that is the coolant. But if you activate it first, you've still got to get out of the room. So now the boss is downstairs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rift down here, and I'm going to throw my Nova, which tracks him around the corner. You see, it does a fair bit of damage to him, and now I'm going to kind of hopefully do the rest of the damage with the sword. Everything started burning again. I do have passive guard on, so as you can see, I'm tanking a lot of that solar to go with the to go with the solar uh, damage that I've the solar. Jesus, I can't even see. I can't even speak. The solar uh, dam damage resist and the concussive dampener, which kind of helps us tank that solar as well. So it's all your your loadout is geared to this. But now we've got a, another thing to worry about is. As you can see there, we've got Screebs. But I'm pretty sure on this wave, we've got uh, Void Snipers as well. So as you can see, the boss, the captain, he uh, he shot my grenade out of the sky. And more Screebs. As you can see, I'm having to be just a touch more aggressive than I normally would be because of the time. Although I have got a lot of time left, I want to make sure... I'm not in any trouble with the time. There's your Void Sniper. Not sure if there's still another one. I'll just take these solar kind of turret things out. And we've got one more Captain. And we'll just use the sword to get to him quickly. And there we go. We, now we've got our other two waves of these two Scorn on each side. I'm going to take them out. And I think it's this, this one where you get to see... Why you sh why you shouldn't take the center console out first. So as you can see, I'm going in for the center one. Once you activate it, your everything's going to keep burning. See, I'm burning pretty rapidly because I never put the sword on. You see, everything keeps burning, so you, it's never do that one first. That's to we're going to say that I done that to show you guys why you shouldn't do it first. See what I done there? It's pretty cool, right? No, it's not. Don't do the one that one first. Do these outside ones first, and then do the middle one last, because now we've got a uh, coolant flush three activated. Now what I'm trying to do is find out where the boss is. Not only am I trying to find out where the boss is, because he's not actually the issue down here now. It's the art captains that are the issue. They are just insane. So as you can see, I'm putting a rift down here. I'm going to charge a grenade, but the boss never came at me. So, could have died here. And I'm trying to get away, but those captains. Now, you can jump up here, but you're going to have some ads. You're going to have some ads up here. So, nothing major. It's just like three ads on each side on this kind of second wave of, of boss damage. 
And the cool thing about having this weave is it's not really cool, but the cool thing is, see I got heavy there, which is always good. The cool thing is you can drop ammo like you've just seen me do. Now this is the last kind of wave that I'm gonna that I'm gonna be fighting all the ads up here. The last wave I'm kinda just gonna I'll come up if I need to, but I don't plan on fighting any ads. I'm just coming up to get out of it for a second. So now we're gonna go back down, find the boss. As you can see, because of what I had to deal with last time, I'm gonna try and take one of those captains. If, I, if there's another one, I'll try. I'll take him as well. Just try to clear ads. You see where where I seen that there was solar on the floor, and I chose to jump. That's, that's little decisions like that, that can be the difference. So now I know where the boss is. We're just going to charge up. Now I missed with the last hit because the the sword tracking is not great. But now he came over to me, and there we go. Now I can get out of here, back up top. Wave of ads waiting for me. I can just go over here, go over to this side, which is where the, the third coolant thing is, and just uh, just take it easy, just get some health back. And again, just got to watch out for the void, if there's any void snipers about you. See them on the left there? And that's what's hitting me hard, is the void snipers. So now, now I'm in a position, because I've got that solar turret so I'm making a decision to go and take out the void snipers and then go after him I'm charging which the cool thing the kind of the cool thing about charging is it blocks as well but as you can see I was getting hit quite a lot now these guys are going to come in they're not a problem if you take them while they're just running if you allow them to charge up and hit you they become a problem so if they're just running you go at them with the sword they're not really going to do any area of effect damage charge Take all the enemies out, and there we go. Now we've got this next wave. It's the last kind of, it's the last damage section. So I'm just gonna go and get them down. See, I'm activating the consoles outside while I'm on one side, so I'm not wasting time clearing out ads and then having to run back left and right. Although that's a very silly thing to say because I have in this run already done that, but you shouldn't do it, which is why I'm saying it. <laughs> so as you can see, that's all the ads down. So now we'll activate this console here to our left. And then we'll do the middle console last, which will immediately flush coolant to the whole system. And I do not know why I ran all the way around. I I forgot I I forgot that I'd already activated that console. That's why. See that waste of time I said you shouldn't do? That's why I said it. Now I've got heavy on the floor. I just wait for the burn to stop and then I'll go and get that heavy. And then I've got my super, which is good. So that's that's the whole system flushed with coolant. I should start regen regenerating health. There should be more ads down here now. He's over the other side. He's coming towards me. So I'm, what I'm going to do is Nova. You see, the Nova does a fair amount. And then I'm just going to charge shots. And I've got two captains after me. I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to jump up. Now you'll see, I jump up, that there's going to be captains here. I don't want to have to take all the captains out. I just want to get some health. See those guys coming after me. Luckily I have my grenade. And now I'm going to get more charge for light. And then as soon as I can, we're just going to go back down. I'm not going to fight any more of the ads. Blocking already. Take out the captain and go straight into the boss. One big hit and we're done. But it's not over yet. This, when you go up top, you see the captain's still shooting. I'm using the sword to get away. And there's going to be screebs up here. So be very careful. Just throw the grenade. Get the explosion from running past them. And then any that are left up. Finish off. And that's it. The main, the main thing about doing this run is... Uh, trying to make sure you've got everything. You just don't attack and expect the lament just to be able to tank everything. Uh, and 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 passive guard. It won't. The captain's hurt. If you get a chance downstairs to take the arc captains out, do it. 
The boss himself is very easy to, to kind of manipulate, but those captains are the, are the worst. In this whole thing, the captains and the snipers are the most dangerous because range doesn't work against them. Cover is the only thing that works. And that's the run, guys. So that is Solo Flawless Master uh, Presage Mission on the Warlock. I will upload the Hunter either tonight or tomorrow. Pro I'll probably do it later on tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the support, guys. And like I've said, sorry this took so long to get out. Not been a great week this week, health-wise. So, uh, take it easy, guys. Enjoy your your attempts at the Flawless. Go and get that emblem. Let me know in the comments how you get on. And I will see you guys in the next video.